Okay, next up we have oxalic acid that is um, reacted with sodium hydroxide. We want to find out the molar concentration of sodium hydroxide. So, uh, we need to first start off by writing out our reaction. Okay, and so now based off of this, we can see we have a 1 to 2 ratio between these two. And so if I have... 0 0.147 grams over 126.07 grams per mole. This will yield 0 0.001167. 0 0.00116018878 mole. And so if I want to find out the moles of any sodium hydroxide, I'm just going to multiply that by 2 based off of this relation. And that is going to give me 0 0.00233203775. I like to write out the entire thing that way because I'm still using these values, so I want to cause the least amount of um, decimal error. And so next up, I am told to find the molar concentration. Molar concentration is equal to the amount of moles you have over the volume. I'm told I have a volume of 23.64 milliliters. And so that means my molar concentration will be 0 0.002332037757 over the volume that I have in liters. So that is 0 0.02364 liters. This will give me a molar concentration of 0 0.0986. And that is going to be your final answer.